The big question dominating French politics, can the far right really win? After five years of President Macron, French voters are deciding his future at the ballot box. He won the highest share of the vote in this first round, but it's tight. The full verdict is still two weeks away, and a second term for the country's youngest ever premier appears vulnerable. At this decisive moment for the future of the nation, nothing must be as it was before. I would like to take the hand of everyone who would like to work for France to join me. I'm ready to invent something new. On the other side of Paris, President Macron has the same rival once again. As Marine Le Pen arrived, I asked if she was feeling confident. A simple nod said it all. This is the far-right leader's third and final attempt at the French presidency. And if you go by the polls, she's never got as close as this. Marine Le Pen has presented a softer, more unifying image of herself in this campaign. In this campaign, I decided not to be partisan, to be at the service of all and to directly address you. I will carry on doing so, so the day after the second round, not to exclude anyone, to be the president for all the French people. Le Pen's decision to focus on the cost of living was a smart choice and won her a broader church of voters. Speaking less on immigration and Islam has helped to detoxify her brand. Critics say she's changed her style, but not her far-right values. But this time, Marine Le Pen is far more palatable to many voters, and those voters are far less predictable. Even Marine Le Pen's past praise for Vladimir Putin didn't dent her support during a horrifying war in Ukraine. One of her MPs is confident there will be a President Le Pen in two weeks' time. Everybody from the right or from the left are most welcome to join the big reunion that Marine Le Pen will create for France. France will now look to voting between Macron and Le Pen. Normally, parties form a pact to vote together in round two against the far right. But this time, it feels like the rule book's been ripped up. It's complicated. Between Macron and Le Pen, I don't know. I hate Le Pen for a little moment, but I hate Macron since he's the president. So, honestly, I don't know who will vote between the two. Anything can happen. Uh, nobody thought Brexit would happen. Uh, well, to people of my generation really didn't think it would happen, and it has. Nobody thought Trump would come into power, and he did. So I think we have to consider that it's always an option. The overall impression is French people are looking for a change. But that change could give Vladimir Putin a perceived ally in the Elysee Palace. France feels in uncharted election territory. Sally Lockwood, Sky News, Paris.